Hey there welcome back to Financial Future Today, your go-to channel for all things related to Social Security and SSDI benefits. In today's video, we're diving into how Social Security and SSDI recipients can receive $1,550. $1,860, and $2,590 each month. We'll cover important income limits you need to know to maximize your benefits. Before we start, let me make it clear that this video is for people receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits or Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. Understanding every part of these two programs is crucial because they're designed very differently. So, the amounts I mentioned at the start of this video $1,550, $1,860, and $2,590 only apply to people who get Social Security Retirement, or SSDI. It means that if you get SSDI, you can earn money but it must be less than $1,550 a month. Remember, this is your gross income, not net income. So, if you receive SSDI and are not blind, remember $1,550 a month is the maximum amount you can earn without affecting your benefits. The $2,000 payment will not affect your regular benefits. It's an additional, one-time payment. Second, how will it affect your taxes? This stimulus payment is not considered taxable income, so it won't impact your tax return. And finally, what should you do if you don't receive your payment? If you haven't received your check by the end of June, contact the relevant agency to follow up. Next, let's talk about $1,860 a month. This amount is for people receiving Social Security retirement benefits who have filed for them before reaching full retirement age in 2024. For 2024, if you're receiving Social Security retirement benefits and haven't reached full retirement age yet, $1,860 a month or $22,320 a year is the income. Finally, let's discuss the $2,590 a month limit for blind SSDI recipients. If you are blind and receive SSDI, you can earn up to $2,590 a month in gross income without affecting your benefits. It's important to keep these limits in mind to ensure you maximize your benefits without facing any reductions or penalties. If you're currently receiving Social Security retirement benefits, SSI, SSDI, or benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs, VA, you're in luck you qualify for the payment. Now, let's talk about best practices. If you're currently working, changing jobs, getting a raise, or planning to start working again, you should call Social Security. Providing this information helps ensure there are no surprises or penalties down the line. The Social Security agents can even help you calculate your earnings to ensure you stay within the limits. To wrap things up, let's quickly recap the income limits $1,550 a month for non-blind SSDI recipients, $1,860 a month for Social Security retirement beneficiaries who haven't reached full retirement age and $2,590 a month for blind SSDI recipients. Keeping these limits in mind can help you maximize your benefits without facing reductions or penalties. As you can see on the screen, these payments will be going out this month. So, if you're a homeowner or renter in New Jersey, keep an eye on your mailbox or bank account for this financial boost. It's crucial support that can help many families and individuals during these challenging times. Please like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.